A game changer for the Chattanooga area is closer to going into production on the riverfront at the old Alstom plant site. Novox will be the country's first manufacturer of the materials used in lithium batteries. The company's investing millions in Chattanooga. They'll provide hundreds of new jobs. State and federal leaders gathered today at that facility. They call it Riverside Recharged. Our Meredith Aldis tells us how officials say this could help with supply chain issues. Most of the materials used to make batteries for electric vehicles come from Asia right now. Early next year, Novonics will manufacture the materials here in Chattanooga. Chattanooga has a real opportunity here to lead the way in our emerging green economy. Novonics, located in the old Austin plant, is committed to $160 million of capital to be invested in Chattanooga and create about 300 jobs. There's so much to offer here. There's a great labor pool. The TVA is a great source of clean sources of energy, which we plan to use a significant amount of power in our process. And we're local to so many of the cell manufacturers and auto OEMs. Novonix produces lithium ion batteries for electric vehicles in power grid storage. The Tennessee State Commissioner of Economic and Community Development says this will be transformational for the electric vehicle. The success of the future for the electric vehicle is about having a great battery that has the capacity and the quick charging. And so this facility is going to manufacture the anode material to make sure that the electric battery will be successful. The production of this battery to power electric vehicles, or EVs, is also helping lower our carbon footprint. The EV will become a mass market car. The U.S. Secretary of Energy says Novonics will receive a significant tax break, and so will other manufacturers who choose to stay or come back to the U.S. Well, the president wants to incentivize the bringing back of this supply chain so that we are building it ourselves. The Novonix CEO says these materials could eventually be used in Volkswagens and other car manufacturers' electric vehicles. 